The second dimension that we're going to look at in our toolkit is about designing spaces. And the designing of the spaces and, uh, can be outside, so we might decide to use an obstacle course to take us to particular places where we might be visiting a special tree or a special chair, or we may be using a trestle and beams to create a pathway to this play world. So the idea is to think about how we might outside use some spaces that can create this play world. Then inside, inside the play world, we can also be thinking about what is it that we could change and what spaces could we use. So for instance, the home corner or the block corner could be transformed to be a particular play world or another room in the, in the centre that's not being used could become a play world space as well. But here we can say, if we say, for instance, the block corner, the block corner then the blocks become in service of the play world. So the play world is the focus and the blocks support the construction of what might be the new building or the new bridge that takes you to some really interesting place in the play world. So that's in relation to that dimension, designing the spaces inside and outside for the play world. Oriana, I'm in the pigsty. Oh, you're in the pigsty. I'm in the pigsty. Can everyone feel the mud underneath? It's squelchy, isn't it? And it's cold. And can you smell it sticks in here? I think when planning the physical um, play space, um, it took a little bit of practice for us to realise that you do actually need a designated area where you can go and be play partners with the children. And that can be quite open-ended. And yeah. I think just provide lots of opportunities for them to explore um, the play with the characters or the concepts. So for example, with Charlotte's Web, they really enjoyed having, we had a soft toy pig in the home corner and they really enjoyed feeding, pretending to be um, Fern and feeding Wilbur yes, and yeah. that nurturing side of the play. But then we also had a lot of books with facts. We had some children who would just study the anatomy of the spider. So to provide lots of opportunities for play spaces.